Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be talking about our new option of tool change position. We now have the capabilities of being able to control our tool change position within the operation itself. For example, if I were to open up this particular operation, we have here the option in tool called tool change position. Now, in tool change position, we have two options, whether to do it as in the part settings, or I can define them here. Now, let's first take a look at the simulation as the part settings. As you see, the tool approaches from its tool change position, which is all the way out there here, according to the part tool change position. However, if I were to go back in here now and change this to user defined, and give different values for over here, such as I'll give for the X direction 50 millimeters, and in the Z direction I'll give, for example, 75 millimeters, and then save and calculate that. Now if you take a look at our tool movement, you'll see that the tool now comes in from this section over here. In other words, I changed it to this value over here, and now it comes in from over here. If I were to go into my next operation and do the same, go into tool change position and change this to say 75 in the X and run save and calculate at my simulation. And this time I'll do the simulation on both operations. Now if I run just the first simulation for now, you'll see that it started over here and then when it retracted it went to this position ready for the next operation and then the next operation continues from this point on so we have complete control now of our tool chain position within the operation itself thank you for joining us on solid camp professor take care and have a nice day